Good evening, family. Hey, it is the 25th, I want to say. Is it the 25th? Yep, it's the 25th of July. It is 9.20 in the p.m. And I come on to do a video on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Now, I was going to do this video earlier today, but I said, you know what? I might as well go ahead on and wait until after the show, which came on at 8 o'clock California time. It's now 9.20, so it just went off. And I was like, you know what? Look, I haven't made a video about this show all season, I don't believe. I don't think I talked about it at all. But, um, no less, I'm talking about it now. And I feel as though I need to. I need to, you know, really um, kind of talk to these ladies here on this show. You know, because I don't know exactly where Mona Scott is going with this. Um, but what I would like to see is a lot of therapy taking place with the journey of these ladies. Because there's a lot of underlining things that are beginning to start to surface. You know, which we kind of saw back in the day with Jocelyn for a minute that, you know, some things just, you know, needed to be looked into, you know what I mean? Because, you know, she was just a little bit over the top, which she still somewhat is. But, you know, now that you kind of get a background on what's up with her, it kind of make it go over a little bit easier on why why she acts the way that she does. But I want to start off with Carly Red because... As I began to watch the show last night, I think um, I watched a couple episodes and it kind of began with Carly Red, uh, with her relationship with the R&B singer Live Jennings. Now, Carly, let me, let me just say this, Mama, in all due respect, we're all the same age, okay? We're all in that same age group, Class 89 Holler, okay? Stand up, okay? Now, let me say this, though. I don't know what it is, mama, that you are really looking for or searching for, and you're not finding it on your back. In all due respect, but throughout the course of this show, from the beginning, from the very beginning when you came on the show, it was like you were with this guy, and then that guy, and then this guy, and then this guy, and then this guy. And to my understanding, you have a daughter. I think one, uh, maybe 20-something, I did see a picture uh, surface at one point of your daughter. And she was like maybe in her 20s or early 20s or something to that magnitude. I don't know. Um, but, you know, and I'm not trying to. You know, so let me choose my words wisely because I'm not in here trying to call you no hoe, no whore, no thought, no none of that because I don't want to degrade you in that way, okay? But I will say this though, you know, I don't know if it's just the portrayal of the show, you know, because of course on these type of things, storylines are everything, you know, and if you don't have a storyline, you're not making any money. And um, I see that you're a successful businesswoman. You got these different business ventures going on that are, you know, seemingly successful. So I don't know if um, it's just a matter of using your poetic license to portray this type of woman on camera. But in your personal life, you own something totally different. If that is the case... I totally get it. I totally understand. Make your motherfucking money. Like you told uh, Tierra at the party. You know, I build my house from the ground up. Okay? So with that tells me a lot, the fact that you're a smart lady. You're very, very smart. Okay? And sometimes when you uh, own that drive for, for um, growth, you know, it's like shit. Some of us be on some by any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? Some people be on that. And you could be one of those. Like, look, fuck what you're going through. Fuck what you heard. I don't give a damn what it look like. But let me go ahead on and make this money. And then uh, holler at me at the bank. That 
could be the case. The words you really don't give a fuck about how nobody feel about you, look at you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let me count these coins. And let's keep it pushing after that. If that's the case, once again, I can't do nothing but respect that. You know what I'm saying? You are an actress. This is what they pay you to do. They need storylines and they need clowning. And if that is what it is that you're bringing to the show, then therefore, hey, <laughs> run your motherfucking program, okay? But in the interim, when you fall back and you want to get into a relationship with a loving man and you want him to feel a particular kind of way about you and you him, then therefore you want to be taken a little bit more serious and not just, you know, with this cat, that cat, this cat, this cat, this cat, taking rings, this, this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what is all this? What's this, mama? What is this? I'm saying no. What is it? I don't, you know, and, and I don't I don't want to be like I'm calling you out of your name or no nothing like that because I really want to believe that these are just storylines. You know what I'm saying? And you're just doing this right here to, you know, make your money to get your shit off. And if that's the case, then that's cool. But at the end of the day, I will be saying, you know what, well, check this out, bitch. Uh, check out the new season coming up. Um, we finna show out good fashion, uh, holla at me on, uh, uh, VH1, you know what I mean? Then therefore, we gotta look at this shit as if we're looking at Empire, uh, Power, uh, Scandal, or either one of these motherfucking shows, okay? And if that's the case, once again, run your motherfucking program. But, it seems like... When it came down to this relationship here with life, I really believe you felt a particular kind of way about him. And it's something so kind of seductive about him, too. I met him before. I met him at Essence Music Festival many years back. First album, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it was really nothing. So I don't even want to get no room mail started. It was, a, you know, basically like a little meet and greet type of thing. And when you um, go and have the Essence Festival experience, you know, you tend to, you know, kind of be backstage and kind of, you know, meet and greet different people. It's, I mean, it's really nothing. I'm certain you've, you've seen it or been there and done that as well and met different people and yada, yada, yada. Y'all, hold on. Seems like I got, like, my shit is like, okay, is that a little bit better? Seems like they're getting a little bit bigger. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, but I just felt a little lump right there. I just, you know what I'm saying, had to go ahead and make sure it got back up in the cup. But anyway, but so there was really nothing, but it was a hi, how you doing? You know, just one of those. It was innocent. But it was, he was so alluring. You know what I'm saying? Very, very sexy ass man. But, you know, I couldn't get past the fact that his motherfucking beard couldn't connect. You know what I'm saying? It was like the shit was just, you know what I'm saying? This shit was crazy. It was tic-tac-toe status. And I was like, nigga, this is some Anthony Hamilton shit. This shit was just, you know what I'm saying, just all over the motherfucking place. I was like, okay. And then I had nerve to have some of them braided. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. But he was sexy as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? She, and then, I, and, then and then, let's see, and then he was going to perform. I think it was a Coca-Cola stage or something like that because they have, like, these little lounges in the, in the Superdome. And, like, you have the main stage, but you have four lounges. And so he was at the little lounge or whatever. And then they, um, I had initially, earlier that day, had met him at the convention center. And um, they had him in this little thing. He was sitting in there. And it was sort of like Arabian Nights. I don't know. I, I have a little picture of it. I don't know where the picture is at. I'm going to have to post it, though. So then, therefore, I'll show you guys my receipts. You know what I'm saying? But, um... But, uh, yeah, and um, I had took a picture with him um, during that day. And then when I went to the Superdome that night for the show, and then when I went to the show, he was like, oh, hey, did I see you today? I was like, yeah. You know, but it was still kind of, you know, very, very innocent, nothing. But it, he was so alluring to whereas I could see how you got caught up with that. I could see it. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much the fact that, He's incredibly handsome, which he is a handsome man. Don't, don't, you know, don't misunderstand me. But it's something about his persona, something about, it's this aura that he gives off that's very, very sexy. So I can see how you kind of got caught up with that. You know what I mean? And you felt a particular kind of way about it. But to me, what made me kind of feel a particular kind of way about you, life, that kind of 
you know, kind of took a little bit of that sexiness and sex appeal off of me is the fact that when this woman fell on the ground, whether or not she was fake falling out or whatever it was, it appears that you didn't even help get her up. It was like you still sat there and watched this, watched this heifer fall on the ground and you not one time helped her get up. That from the camera angle that we seen, she fell on the ground, she got back up on her own, no shoes on, nothing. Now she's chasing you down through the park. I also understand you were saying that, you know, I've been fucking with you uh, for a, a year and a half and, you know what I'm saying, I want a wife for me and my, you know, uh, I want a wife and, you know, a mother for my kids and all this whole kind of shit. I understand all that shit too, but, uh, you know what? But see, listen, I hear men say this all the time about what it is that they want, but see, the thing is, you get what you deserve. Because if you out here and you got all these different women having kids and all this other kind of stuff, you had already got trumped up with some bullshit here a few years back. And that sent you back, remember? Well, I know you remember, but I don't know. I guess everybody else, I don't know what everybody else is on. Or what their memory go back like that or whatever. You had ran and jumped on the car or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It was a twist. You know, so it was like, and I think you had a couple of babies by this a uh, woman right here, and then somebody here, and all this, 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 this. I'm just trying to figure out, do you really want a wife? Because you're adding more numbers to it. You know, I mean, I'm not really understanding that, brother. I mean, you know, hey, but hey, to each his own. Hey, it ain't none of my business. You are a grown-ass man, and you are very much single. If you ain't got no wife, run your motherfucking program. But it just kind of takes away from your sex appeal when... You know, I seen, you know, you not help this lady up. And then to the fact that, you know, you give her a ring that was, you know what I'm saying, on some mixed mac patty west. I mean, god damn, nigga. I mean, at least you could have stepped it up and got her absolute something. You know what I'm saying, a little diamond nigga, something, nigga. You could have at least stepped it up and done something like that. But, nigga, you went sloss and swap me on that ass, which tripped me out. You know what I'm saying? Because... Carly, I didn't understand why would you take somebody else with you on that type of run anyway. Whereas, it's not like you really got a real cold-blooded ass alliance with uh, Dime. The whereas, if some shit come back and it ain't right, hell, before this bitch get to her ride, she calling him somebody saying, "Girl, I told you that shit wasn't real. I told you that bitch was straight, he straight played that hoe." See, so why in the hell would you take anybody now? Once again, it is a show, and it is about ratings, and it is about storylines, and it is, it is about juicy gossip and, you know, what's going on and what's going to happen next and all that other kind of stuff. So I also know how this kind of shit works in the background as well. So, you know, hey, if we just roll in with the script, baby, then just roll with the script. But it's just making you look... Not really cool, you know what I'm saying? It's not really looking too good because it's like, man, you know, I will be thinking about how my daughter is looking at the fact that, you know, I'm in and out of bed with all these different motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is this right here? What's this, you know? It just don't look nice, mama. It just doesn't. And see, one thing about, you know, getting a certain age and stuff like that, it's supposed to come with a lot of wisdom, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to know when to hold them and when to fold them and when to shut your motherfucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? And all that right there, all that shit should have been on the low. You're supposed to take that shit straight to your motherfucking grave. All this out that everybody know I'm in, how many motherfuckers that everybody done seen you fucking with. Nigga, that's just all bad. It's all bad, Carly. I mean, because you're a beautiful lady. I see your shit seem like to me is, you know what I'm saying, is going and doing what it's doing and all that shit. But this shit's crazy to me. So I'm going to ask that you pipe that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you build your shit up, you go out to your house and all that shit, get you some shit that you can afford. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? And all these niggas that you've been fucking with, man, hey, look at here, check this out. Well, since it's short-lived relationships and it's not really relationships, I don't think you can really call it that. Maybe you call them jump-offs. I don't know what you call them. Or just niggas that you fucked with. I don't know what you call it. But it just don't look good. It just don't look good for the 40 Club, baby. For the 40 Club, it look crazy. Because we're not understanding that. We're like, damn. Damn, she fucking up the game right now. She is out here acting a motherfucking fool. So all I'm going to do, mama, is I'm going to say that I love you. But just pipe that down. If it's for the show, then leave that shit for the show. But in your personal life, you know what I'm saying, keep it respectful. And just do it like that.
That's all I can say about that. So as far as life is concerned, best of luck with subsequent albums and so on and so forth. To my understanding, you was at the LA Soul Music Festival over the weekend. I missed it. I didn't know anything about it, but I had a good ass weekend. Was chilling, laid up any motherfucking way. So it's not like I really missed too much. But you do give a hell of a show, and you got a hell of a crew. Your whole band is tight. So much success to you and uh, that right there. So I'm done with you all. Now we're going to go on to Tierra. I got my little list right here because I kind of forget y'all names a little bit. So then therefore, to keep me on, on deck, I have to have a thing right here to tell me who I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So... Now we're going to talk about Miss Tierra. Now, I just seen, as it just closed off, that now you are pregnant. Why? I'm just saying, Mama, why? Now, here, you showed up at the party. So, it looked like, instead of, it's me plus three, nigga, it's you plus, what, four or five? It looked like you had, like, four kids with you. Okay? Now, Carly Red already put it out there that you was in the apartment. Okay, which we saw that one day when he had, when old boy had came, when Scrap had came to come pick up his baby one day or whatever, came over there to come kick it with you or whatever the get down was. And you know what I'm saying? It was a little tight ass little living room. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay. And then the kids had to go to the room while, you know what I'm saying? He had a little camera time and personal time, daddy and son and this and that and that and that and that. So, you know, mama, I'm just trying to figure out what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And then you say that you had jobs. I know one time you said on a, another uh, episode that, you know what I'm saying, I guess you work at the club and also you do this and that, paralegal or whatever. You got these. So then therefore, who's taking care of the children? Ain't none of my motherfucking business, but of course it's going to make a motherfucker wonder. You know what I mean? Because it's like if you got, and then here this baby here, what does he just turn probably about five years old? You know what I'm saying? Kindergartners usually get off a half a day. You know what I'm saying? But now you finna put another twist in the game by having another motherfucking baby? Mama, why? What are you doing? I gotta cut some air on. Y'all see them starting to glisten. But it's like, I'm not understanding. Why would you do that, mama? Because now it's gonna have motherfuckers questioning like, okay, now who's the daddy of this? Because here, you had homeboy with the Arabian night twist around his motherfucking head. You know what I'm saying? Some Put some respect on it, motherfucker. What's his name, Bill? I don't forgot his name, but that motherfucker right there with the shit tied on his motherfucking Taliban ass motherfucker. What his name? I can't think of his name, but he looked like a little bitty motherfucker, half pint ass nigga anyway. But him, okay, now, now you got motherfuckers gonna be questioning whether or not is DJ Whoop de Whoop or if it's old boy that now got 20 years, but either way it's raggedy than the motherfucker because wasn't you just getting ready to fight his woman, some little honey dip, little, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this was a senorita or a little snow bunny. I don't know which one it was, but I know she was a one of them, you know what I'm saying? And it's no color lines with me. Let me be crystal clear on that part, but I know that, you know what I'm saying, that's what he was fucking with, you know what I'm saying? Talking about she got a fragrance line coming out, you know what I'm saying? But let it still, I saw a while ago you was getting your eagle on and all that other shit on another motherfucking episode. You was dip, dropping down, dipping low, and I said, oh my God. You were doing all that shit with the motherfucking, what they call that shit, uh, BT After Dark, that shit. Yeah, you was doing all that shit, mama. I don't know what, I, I don't understand how you could ever want a man to really respect you and take you really serious with some of these things that some of y'all are out here doing. I'm not understanding this shit right here. Do you really want a man to really love you and respect you and take you for who you are? Or is this some type of game? I'm not understanding. Because at some point in time, you're going to want to settle down. And But when you showing all this bullshit that you into, how in the fuck is it going to be a man of standard and of integrity going to look at you and going to be like, you know what, this is a motherfucker right here I really want to take around my own boys and take to, to my mama and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take this motherfucker to the cookout. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take it to my auntie Lottie house and go, you know what I'm saying, we barbecue and hot link sandwiches. But if you out here doing all this bullshit, and I'm just trying to figure out how in the fuck is a man going to really respect all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You threw Carly Red person in the motherfucking pool. That right there, oh my God, nigga, that was a qualification for a serious motherfucking ass whooping right then and there. I understand she was like, oh, okay, I can get another one of those by such and such time. 
Carly, sit down with that now. Now, you already seen life got him a new German motherfucker. And that might be a little bit over with, you know what I'm saying? You know, because usually when a man fuck up, that's when you can get an extra little couple things. Now, I don't know. You see that shit just went kapooey. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. You know, but, yeah, you still this bitch threw your whole bag in, in the motherfucking pool. Why were you mad anyway? I mean, you out here doing the most, but I understand that, you know, it was still kind of raggedy. You know, bitch, like, you going to get me up here in front of all this right here in front of Diamond and everybody, and you going to tell me that you up here sitting up, you laid up with my dude? What kind of old shit is this? So I understood you getting mad and getting pissed off through the bitch, this right here in the water and all that old type of shit, which was crazy. But then the camera flip and it shows you and Mimi in the car and you asking Mimi about, you mean to tell me he don't pay no child support for you and the baby? What's all this? I didn't get all this right here. All that, I didn't get it. But I talk with my hands too, you see that? I don't know, I guess it's just the way we get our point across and shit, you know what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Put that on that and put that over there on where that go. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, no. I don't know. I, I kind of do some of that shit too. You know what I mean? But, you know, I don't know. You had this going and I was kind of, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to keep up with it. You know what I mean? But, yeah, you all asking about this motherfucker whether or not she got child support payments coming. But apparently you got something that's late for you to be having four or five motherfucking kids and you sitting up still in an apartment already. I don't understand that already. Why you got so many motherfucking jobs and shit? Because if your shit was coming on time, I don't see how you should be working that motherfucking hard. You know what I mean? I, 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 don't, I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? But apparently, you know, everybody got to know how to respect some money to keep up with money. You know what I mean? You got to be able to respect that thing. You know? And if you don't respect money, then therefore money just goes and you don't have too much to show for it. Because I'm not understanding if you got all this right here going on and if you got child support payment coming for all your kids and all this right here and plus you got all these jobs and all this Jamaican shit going. Baby, I don't understand how you sitting up here still in an apartment. I don't understand that. But what I'm going to need you to do though, now that you got another baby coming and all that old type of shit, see, you should have gotten some life insurance on scratch ass for that motherfucker left from here. You understand me? Now, if you're able to get some life insurance on him still, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and get some on him, even though he's incarcerated. We already know all this already. But but now you have a baby out here that's going to be need to be provided for. Why in the fuck are you out? I'm, shit, let me tell you something. I got three motherfucking kids. One baby daddy, okay? I had a husband, okay? But trust and believe, I still got policies on that motherfucker. That was my husband, though. But uh, still, if I'm going to spend a considerable amount of time with your ass, nigga, I'm going to get back every motherfucking thing that uh, I done put in. I'm getting mine back. Hell yeah, and you still owe me some motherfucking money too, motherfucker. Uh, wake up. Shit. You can't leave with me until I get my 45 motherfucking dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You know what I mean? You never know. But still, I'm just saying that, you know, for the... What you put into it, and it's supposed to go both ways. That's just being a, just a matter of taking care of business now here. Especially if you got kids by these motherfuckers. Baby, you don't get some life insurance on these motherfuckers. Them niggas is what I'm saying. Of course you need to have insurance on you and your, you, you know, your children and yourself. But all these subsequent niggas, though, I'm not understanding that. All these baby daddies and things. And you worried about her getting her payments. Baby, you better get... Some on this right here, so then therefore you can get yours. That's all I'm saying. Take this Mona money, buy you a house that you can afford. Fuck trying to get some shit that's all over there by Tyler and them shit. You can't afford all that, but now, now you got a whole nother baby coming. Okay? Now you got to cook two chickens later on. Okay? So, what are you doing? You need to be getting you a house. You need to be in a home. Okay? Because now... The, you going to get ready to out. You already outgrowed all that. But now you really finna outgrow all this right here. So what you need to do is get more responsible, mama. Get you a home and start off from there. Fuck all that shit trying to stay over there by candy and all them motherfuckers. If you can't afford that, don't fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Because you need a residual income to fuck with that. You understand? You need money to keep coming. Now, see, Mona and them might give you another season. And then go ahead on and boot you off. If that's the case, and therefore you really ain't got no residuals coming. 
Because motherfuckers is not going to really be, you know, I mean, there's not a little bit, but not really, you know what I'm saying? They might give it one more season of kind of going back and reminiscing on the season before, but it's not a lot of residual coming on that. So, you know, it's like, bottom line is, handle your motherfucking business, mama. Don't, you, you know, I don't know why you did this and you still don't have no husband, but yet still you did it. Okay, now that it, it is what it is now, but I'm going to need you to go ahead on and get you a bigger place for you and your children. All, all bullshit aside, it's time for you to move, mama. Go on and move on up, get you a bigger spot. Fuck all that shit trying to be all with the Joneses and all that. Let me and them do them. Okay, down there in Atlanta. You can't do what the motherfuckers is doing. Get you some shit over there in Decatur, some motherfucking where that's cool. That's you and your children. Got your little minivan and shit, little SUV, because you're going to need that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that trying to roll with these little bitty ass car. But you ain't going to be able to do that no more. You need car seats, booster seats, motherfucking all this right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be fries up on the seats and all that old guy shit. All that. So, but this is what you chose to do for your thing. I ain't mad at it. I don't even know how old you are, but I'm certain you're somewhere in your 30s, somewhere along up in there. So you still qualify to go and keep having babies if you want to, but I'm not understanding why would you want to do that based on the circumstances. Because either way you look at it, the motherfuckers that they don't show that you fucking with, knuckle, for real? Is this what we're doing to you ever? You mean to tell me you not getting no child support from Stevie? Yeah, come on now, mama. That ain't under your business, okay?